Good evening everyone. Welcome to another edition of Agribusiness Now, the agricultural program that brings to you all of the activities that are currently taking place within the agricultural sector. On this week's program, we have updates on the preparations leading up to the St. Vincent and the Grenadines Agri Expo 2019. We also have the news and announcements, so stay tuned. Agribusiness Now will be right back. Did you know that the OECS Agriculture Competitiveness Project, otherwise known as AgriCup Project, has been officially launched? Well, it was. And the project aims at enhancing access to markets and sales for competitively selected farmers and fisher folks. But to access funds, you must be part of a productive alliance. So what is a productive alliance, you ask? It's a business arrangement between farmers and official folks on one hand, and on the other hand, aggregators. Aggregators can be cooperatives, lead farmers, or marketers and agro-processors. The project provides matching grants to a productive alliance. A minimum of 10 farmers or fishers and an aggregator, such as a lead farmer, a cooperative, marketer, or an agro-processor. Farmers and fisher folk in Productive Alliance can receive up to $8,000 US dollars while the aggregator, lead farmer or fisher, cooperative, marketer or agro-processor can receive up to $120,000 US dollars. For more information, please contact Ministry of Agriculture, Richmond Hill at 456-1410 or 456-1111, extension 311 or 321, or email agricomsvg at mail.gov.dc. Welcome back. If you're just joining us, you're watching Agribusiness Now. On Tuesday, October 8th, we visited the site for the National Agri Expo 2019, which is the decommissioned Iti Joshua Airport, where we spoke to persons who are involved in planning this grand event. We're here today with the permanent secretary for the Ministry of Agriculture, Mr. Raymond Ryan, and he will give us some brief remarks on what he thinks about the preparation. I think that the preparations are going very well. The, there has been a lot of hard work put into the preparation for the event on, on October 16th. And come October 16th, I think we will have an excellent show exposition for the general public. Um, we are doing some modifications, some minor modifications here. We have invited a number of participants, both local and, and the FEO is, is very much involved with this one. And we hope to, to have a, a good show. Okay, so we're here with Mr. Gat Dishong, Site Manager for Agri Expo 2019, and he will be giving us a brief tour of the facility. Okay, good morning, Nakita. Welcome to the old decommissioned airport. At the moment, things are going fine in readiness for the 16th of October. I am responsible for the day-to-day -day activity that takes place here at the airport. And so far, we are on time. There are days that we'll have to be doing some overtime and that we hope by the 12th or the 13th, we have all the persons that um, show the commitment to be part of this uh, expo will be here, setting up their stalls and whatever that needs to be done in preparation for the 16. Work is on target and uh, all the stalls, or most of the stalls, are already being prepared. They are being painted in our national colors. And as we go along, you will see what is taking place in each area of the building. Well, we are here at the check-in area, and if you notice behind us, there are a number of different beautiful color boots, and in these boots, there'll be various 
private and entrepreneurs will be occupying some of these booths. We also have the technical college will be displaying some of the agriculture product. We have the FAO booth that is on behind us also. We have Cardi who will be having a booth also. And if you notice, we have boots on both sides and we have stalls in the center all the way down. Also the banks will be doing some of their display at the far end of the check-in area. So we're here today with Mr. Conrad Richards, Chief Contractor of the site and he will give us a contractor standpoint. As you could see, it's smile fabrication, mostly plywood perform work, stalls, tables, and other portable things are done, stools and tables are the things. They're removable, could be used to other events. And also on the other side, we have different things as you could see. Mile walk, little remedial stuff, but basically that's just about it. So Mr. Richards, from your standpoint, how do you think that productivity is going so far? Well, so far I think we're doing well. Um, actually on time and target. Nothing's overdue so far. A lot of work still to be done, but everything is on schedule. Work is going to good, strength and unity is here as all, and communication is 100%, I'll say that. These dimensions here are all the same, uniform. They are 10 feet by 8 feet high. They are all separated with a cubicle and also storage in the back, so all vendors could be secured at night with their stuff and their merchandises. We also use the three colors of the national flag, and also use two different accent colors with them as well to make the giver kind of pop to bring out instead of just having the flat tree colors inside of the event. So we're here with Mr. Cornelius Richards and he is the coordinator for the entire Agri Expo 2019 and he will be giving us an overview of what is expected from the project. Well, thank you. Um, we welcome the opportunity to say to the general public, uh, we're going to tell you a little bit about um, Agri Expo SVG 2019. Now, this project was conceptualized somewhere in May, and at that time, we thought we can have an event to complement our Renewal 40, and we thought, let us have an agricultural exposition. There's a distinction between the usual agriculture exhibition and an exposition. Now, an exhibition is simply a, a, a showcasing of products. In this case, we are exposing a sector. Um, we set it against the backdrop that a lot has been happening in the agriculture sector that has not been brought to the public attention. We have come a long way in 40 years in terms of the agriculture sector, and we still have a long way to go. And what best way to do it than to do a, a showcase? So pretty much folks who will be coming will be experiencing a, a blitz in four days of what the sector has to offer. So the sector covers a very wide range of subsectors, from forestry to plant animal health and nutrition, um, agriculture, crop production, fisheries, you name it. There's so many areas that is involved in, in, in to make the agriculture sector work. In addition to that, there are other areas that fall under the ministry, for example, the labor department is, is another important part. Without labor, your, agric your agriculture sector cannot be driven to production. So we're looking at it from that perspective. Now, the event starts on, on the 16th of October, which coincides nicely with um, World, World Food Day. And we'll be running for three days thereafter. And on every day, we have a unique package for the public. So there'll be enough for persons to come out on each day, each and every day, and experience something new. Um, we have in both indoors and outdoors um, type exhibits. We have, we are utilizing essentially the entire E.T. Joshua Terminal building. We are now sitting in the arrival lounge. We have, we're just completing construction in the, the departure lounge. And so we'll be moving all the way through with exhibits. Now we have three exhibit halls. One will be located in the departure lounge. One will be located in our departure waiting area traditionally area and want to be in the, in the arrival area. In addition to that, we'll be having a lecture hall at the venue, primarily to give agencies and sectors, subsectors an opportunity to meet with the public, to interact, to let them know what has been taking place in the sector. We will be drawing up a timetable and persons would know at what time, what presentation will be made so they can come out and um, experience and interact with the experts, the, techn the technocrats, to find out more of what's happening in, in particular sectors. Um, we are also aiming to have a small movie theater, which, we, which is under construction now, 
Uh, we want to seat about 30 persons in that in that hall at at one time, and we we'll, we'll be running uh, essentially around the clock uh, during the exhibition hours. We'll be running different videos from different agencies, so we'll have again a schedule so that the person who is coming to the exhibition would know between 2 and 2.30 on a particular day, they can sit and hear something on, on bananas, what's happening in the banana sector. Um, we're also aiming to have a multimedia room, quite new. Um, it's on the experiment right now, and we're hoping we can really pull it off. That's basically a dark room that you enter, and you're going to be inundated with television screens, so to speak, and um, flickering before you are the visuals across all sectors. So if you enter that room at any one time, you'll be experiencing a, a deluge of information by video on fisheries, forestry, water, irrigation, animal health and production, you name it. We're gonna that be the purpose of that room. Then we have several other exhibits. We're not leaving the kids out of this one. There is a, a display, I was just working on that a while ago, by the Beekeepers Association. They're going to be having a maze, a physical beehive maze, where kids and adults can come and walk their way through and feel like a bee. <laughs> Pretty much feel like a bee. Very exciting stuff. And at the end of it, once you find your way through that maze, you'll be rewarded with, um, you know, witness and honey being extracted from from the combs and so on we have many 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 exhibits um also the forestry department will be coming out in fine style as usual and they will be showcasing among other things a log cabin and i'm certain one of the officers will be more than happy to take you through that part of the construction you know to sort of stimulate your interest today with Mrs. Siobhan Vera, forestry officer, who will be giving us a brief overview of the role that forestry departments will be playing in the Expo. As part of the National Expo 2019, the Forestry Services is currently constructing a lock cabin. This lock cabin will house the displays from the education unit, which will display the different aspects of the forestry department. In addition, we will be constructing a mini zoo to showcase our local wildlife species. Also, we will be having field demonstrations of the conversion technologies available on the island, such as the Alaska mill, the Lugosol mill, and the Bansa mill. This will be very interesting and we are encouraging everyone to come out and enjoy. We also have the rural transformation unit coming up with um, backyard gardening and they're going to be demonstrating some very simple some very unique ways of producing food in your backyard in a multi multi-tier system we're looking forward to that uh, our soil engineering they will be doing a mini greenhouse using our local material bamboo and so on things you can do at nominal cost in your own premises to make your to make your displays you know and, and to to provide your greenhouse space in a very simplistic way. Many, many more to come. We want, we're going to be showcasing rainwater harvesting. We'll also be having a demonstration of solar, solar energy being used for various production in agriculture, rainwater harvesting technology. The livestock unit is coming out in fine style. We'll be demonstrating to the public some really high standard pedigree animals that supports our artificial insemination program. The idea of developing protein sustainability. So we'll be demonstrating some of our larger, uh, our small ruminants, rabbits, etc., etc., um, in an open field situation. So we're not going to have them caged like we have had in past exhibition. They will be loose in a field setting during the exhibition. The persons can see them as a graze and so on. Uh, we'll also be having, I mean, there's so many things. We just cannot, if I say everything, the public will not come, right? <laughs> we, we're aiming to have an area, especially for children as well. So we, we're aiming to have a, a recreation park, sort of a small park where they can do their usual bouncing castles and other type of, of, of entertainment. We're now negotiating to have pony rides at the exhibit, um, donkey rides, that sort of stuff. And we, we're trying to throw in a few fun events that, um, that will really Bring, bring down the ice and we're gonna do a greasy pig. Persons are asking for the greasy pig, a greasy pole, you know, competition. And um, we, we'll also be having an entertainment package on every night. So one night we have in a religious, the first night will be a religious praise and worship session. On the second night we'll be having light entertainment, stand-up comedy, etc., karaoke, that sort of stuff. On the Friday night we'll be having live Calypso. We're having one of the, the Calypso tents come out and they're having a big show coming up. So we, we give them the opportunity to do their, 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 
their song testing on the Friday night, so they'll be presenting to us while they, 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 they rehearse their stuff. Exciting stuff. And on the Saturday night, we want to have like a, just a, a, an explosion, soca explosion. We have some of the local artists and some more karaoke in one of those nights. Um, there's just so much will be happening at Agri Expo. We, we did not have a lot of time to really plan the event, but I am satisfied with the support we've been getting from my, my colleagues, our secretariat, hardworking ladies primarily. We have two, two guys um, within that unit as well. We've been working as seriously to, to bring off this event. We're really hoping that it comes off you know, in fine style. When the public come, we do not want them to be, to be too critical because the, the space requires significantly to have it retrofitted, which we're doing. And um, we, we're trying to improve you know, the ambience of the room, making it conducive for, 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 for visitors and so on. Um, what we want them to do is to come and appreciate the sector. And, to, and you know, there's so much more we could talk about. We're going to be having the, the, the local car dealers. They'll be here with their pickups and, and SUVs and demonstrating the farm support program to the, you know, those F vehicles on the road. So we're having them out. The banks, credit unions all, would all be here. Um, so much, so much, so much to experience at, at the Agri Expo SVG 2019. So, Mr. Richards, what do you have to say to the general public? Well, is there anything else to say? I think I've said it all. But certainly, let me say to the public. Come to the E.T. Joshua, the decommissioned E.T. Joshua Airport from the 16th of October to the, to the 19th for four days of, of explosion, put it that way, exposition of the agriculture sector. It's a moment we, we're expecting the support of the public to come out and to enjoy and appreciate what's taking place in the agriculture sector and to encourage us to drive the sector forward. The reality is without food, Without nutrition, you cannot be a productive nation. And we want to put the sector in a way, squarely in the whole socioeconomic scheme of the development of St. Vincent and the Grenadines, so that persons will understand the role that the sector is playing. It is free, absolutely free. The, ex the, ex the exhibitors are being housed for free. And in fact, we encourage exhibitors while they're here to promote their businesses. That's the whole idea. So we're allowing them also to sell their product. Um, so certainly you can bring your money and you can buy your flowers, you can buy your honey, you could buy whatever product that is being offered. And of course, you can buy services as well because we'll have persons in the service sector um, supporting agriculture. So please come out and be with us. Parking is not a problem. We have located two places for parking, the traditional parking lot, and we're using the, the southeastern end of the runway specifically for parking, so parking is not a problem. The afternoon traffic will be passing very close to the exhibition. So out to our exposition um, venue. So please just pull up. We'll have traffic wardens and come in and bring your kids along and let us spend the entire day, especially Saturday together because there's so much on the side that can keep you for your entire Saturday. And on the Saturday, we'll also be partnering with the Vin Show Health and Wellness, Health and Fitness Program. We'll be having a full package all the Saturday in the venue as part of our entertainment and health in relation to health and nutrition. We're here at Mrs. Delissa Best of Vinsho who will be speaking to us about the health fair that they will be having on the Saturday of the Expo. So on Saturday, October 19th, the health and wellness fair for Vinsho will be at the Agri Expo SVG. It's a wonderful union because it's all about looking at how our actions affect our future you know, with health, our diets, that sort of thing. So on the Saturday, you can expect things like um, health um, screenings, like your blood pressure, blood sugar. Um, we have OSV would be here from um, Spectacle Shop. We'll also have persons like Health Solutions, Heritage Dental would be here as well. We'll have WPP, SVG would be here. There's also a fitness aspect of it. So we have Fitness Lab would be here doing um, fitness consultations. You can ask them about gym membership, that sort of thing as well. We would also have fitness sessions so you can come and work out. And one of the things that we're going to have here is we'll have a grand raffle so if you come and participate in the health fair or even just participate in one of the um, fitness sessions that we're having you'll be eligible to be entered into a draw to win a complimentary flight for two and that complements Mustik Airways. So come on out to the fair. We're encouraging everyone to come down on the Saturday, October 19th. And you would not only have um, the expo, 
you know, the exhibitors there, but you can also do some health screenings as well and just ask any questions you have um, of us at Venture and of any of the health providers that will be here as well. As you can see, a lot is being done to ensure that we have a successful exposition. And I really do not think that you want to miss this. Remember, it's from Wednesday 16th to Saturday 19th, October 2019 at the decommissioned Iti Joshua Airport compound. We have a lot in store for you, so come out and be a part of this grand event. Up next, the news and announcements. The Ministry of Agriculture through the Department of Labor is inviting persons to apply for the following available position on the Guyana Work Program. Electrical Engineer, Project Management, Electrician, Plumbers, Welders and Food and Beverage. Please note only persons with certification including CVQ and TVET certification will be eligible for the positions. Please call 4562-3494 for an appointment. Persons without appointments will not be accommodated. Please bring along two passport size pictures, national ID, passport or driver's license, NIS card, names, address, telephone number, email address and occupation of two references and a prepared resume is welcome. All are invited to the Kingston Preparatory School Renewal at 40 World Food Day Exhibition on Friday 11th October 2019 at the school's compound from 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. Local foods will be on sale. And persons are asked to note that the deadline for the call for business idea profile proposals for the OECS Agriculture Competitiveness Agricom Project has been extended to Friday 1st, November 2019. Here is where we come to the end of another Agribusiness Now program. Join us again next week Wednesday at 8.30pm for another informative one. Please feel free to contact us at the Communications Unit within the Ministry of Agriculture at 456-1111 extension 312 or 472 or email us at citumaf2 at hotmail.com you can also check for updates on our youtube channel agribusiness now st vincent or our facebook page www.facebook.com slash agribusiness now on behalf of the communications unit within the ministry of agriculture i am your host nakita samuel thank you for viewing and do have yourself a wonderful night